took another look at Maggie's x-rays. Oh, did you see anything new? No, they checked out exactly like they were when they were wet. You know, you can't exactly call any up with a basal fracture lucky, but uh, what that highway patrolman told me, we brought Maggie in, that car was wrapped around a tree. Yeah. It's really lucky she didn't end up in little pieces. Well, she's still not out of... <sighs> Woods. No, she's not. So we'll watch her for about four or five days, and if she doesn't develop any symptoms of hematoma, all she'll wind up with is a rotten headache and a little dizziness, and hopefully in a couple of weeks she can she can be back to work. Yeah. I guess, all right, if you consider all the alternatives, we're lucky you and she's lucky. Yeah. That muttering in the... about the door... I'm yeah. trying to make sense of it, and the man. Whoa, whoa, don't you think she might have been talking about Matt? Matt? Yeah. Well, why would she call Matt the man? Well, with, uh, you never can tell what can happen with a blow on the head like that. You know something? Matt must have really hit her where she lives. He certainly thinks he did. She wanted him to have... Uh, to help her, and he just, at that particular moment in his life, wasn't available. Yeah. Well, at least he had an excuse, which is more like say for myself. What are you talking about? Well, you know, as far, I was remembering the night you turned to me. You were appealing to me, trying to tell me what was happening in our marriage. The way Penny was coming between us. Nick, that's that's all over. That's yeah. Wow. No, no, I know, I know. But you know, it's funny. Some memories are never shaken, no matter how long ago it was. I can still see you running out of the house, slamming the door like maybe Maggie did. I still don't know why I came here. What did I think I was going to find here that night? I don't know, but I had a genius for turning you up. A lot of other nights that led up to it. Well, let's just let it go with that, shall we? I wish I could. As I keep thinking, I really cut quite a figure as a father, huh? Nick, that was not your fault at all. Penny was at a ugh, very difficult stage. Just turning into a woman, I guess. I don't know. You know, we have to admit something. She did fancy you for herself. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, well... I don't blame myself for that. But I, I mean, you laid out such a such a blueprint for me. What did I do? I, I tore up the pieces and threw them in your face and called you a rotten mother. Boy, I really deserve points for that. Hey, now really, I've been through a very long evening listening to Matt, and I don't want I can't take any more emotion charged no, I confessions. Un I okay? understand. All I'm saying is that what is it with married people anyway? I mean, a problem comes up, they get up tight, and they take it out on the last person in the world they really want to hurt. Well, Matt is certainly sick about it tonight. Yeah, well, so was I after it was done. There you were lying on the clinic floor on conscious you were bleeding look i don't know what you're trying to prove but i think i'm gonna go see maggie all i'm trying to say is some of the most terrible acts are committed in the name of love that's all i mean i mean we we really did love well uh nick i don't know how long you're staying but don't worry about me tonight at all i'm gonna take a taxi okay thanks yeah. thanks for coming good night